independence yesterday and this morning I want to talk about how to become independent how to become independent number one you need to know yourself and know exactly who you are as a person and i talk about three types of independent i talk about mental independent i talk about financial independent and i talk about what emotional, emotional independence but what is my interest is financial independence and that's why i say for you, how you can become independent is number one. You need to know yourself as a person. Most of us, we don't know ourselves. That's why when you see people taking direction A, you follow. You see people taking direction B, you follow. You see people taking direction C, you follow. Because you don't know yourself. Everybody has their own path in this life. Most of us, we have forgotten where we are coming from. And I always say, you see this town? <laughs> Oh, have a plan. Relook back and ask yourself these questions. What are your weakness and your strengths? Every year we always have plans. Every year I have a plan for my life. I have a plan for my life. I have a plan for my life. But a year will end without you executing the plan. That's why you must ask yourself these questions. What are your weakness and what are your strengths? What's that thing that every time you plan, the thing will always fail? Every time you plan, yet you don't end up attaining that objective. What is that thing? What is always holding you back? Sometimes it's procrastination. Sometimes it's lack of discipline. Sometimes it's just laziness. Sometimes we play the blame game. It's my because of A, it's because of B, and we don't see ourselves in the picture. When you find out what are your weakness and strength, this will help you reset a better plan of work. It will help you. And that question you need to ask yourself is, what has been holding you back from not becoming the person you want to be? Sometimes it's competition. See, everybody is unique in their own way. Everybody is beautiful in their own way. Sometimes you look at yourself, I want to be a boss, I want to be a CEO. But what is happening is that every time you see a civil servant, you admire them. Every time you see a civil servant, you admire them. But when you see CEO also, you admire them, you are confused. Avoid competing with others because you are very, very unique. Don't see others, their light is shining and you're confused that that's your light. Your own light is still behind. If you want to be independent, you must set goals for your life. And I said that word in my, uh, my book here, I said that word. Set goals for every day, every week, every month, and every year. Set goals. Every day when you wake up, what are your goals for that day? Every week, goals. Set small but yet attainable goals. If you want to be independent, just wake up one day and say, today I want to buy land, be has buy car. No! Set small goals that you know you can easily attain them rather than setting bigger goals which you end up not attaining them. Small goals, it is very important. It will help to build you up. It will help to shape you up. And when you set those small goals, you become used to. You become used to. With time, you can now set the bigger goals. But start first with small goals. Independent. Be innovative to bring in the change you want so that you can achieve the results that you are looking for. If you want to become independent, you must be innovative. Look at some people. You are going to rent a house. Eh? In that one room house, you buy paint. Because you want to change the color of the paint. You want to paint the ceiling. You want to maybe buy carpet and put on the floor because maybe you don't like the tiles that are on the floor. Or maybe you don't like the color of the floor. You buy carpet, you put it there. Why? Because you are trying to renovate that house. You are trying to make it look beautiful like this and you have been a, a, the same they say nothing is changing about you be innovative be the one to bring in the change that you want nobody has to bring those changes for you you have to be that person that is why becoming independent innovation is very very important it's very important number five i think practice practical self-discipline practice practical self-discipline if you want to be independent, practice practical self-discipline. Most of us, you tell somebody, I want you to be here at this time, but you yourself, you're not there at that time. Yes, you are not there at that time. You're standing here, before the end of the month, you are to collect 100,000. You have already consumed 40,000. You are left now with 60,000. Most of you. You have already consumed.
consume it because every day you see bonbon, you buy ice cream, gateau, shawarma, uh, what again? All those things. If you want to increase your savings, practice practical self discipline. You might see ice cream, but you tell yourself, this is not the time for me to eat ice cream. It is time for me to save because I have an objective to attain. If only you take time to discover who you are. Study yourself. What can you do on your own? All this will help you. All this will shape you. All this will help you become that person you want to be. 